ini di Still a bit early, side still pushing, but I can see if I can't get a gate. Formation with in mind to get away from the raggies, literally. We're fishing quite shallow water, but it's perfect for a cobby or gag to come in, especially when the sun is down. And we've already hooked the raggy, so I'm expecting a night full of plenty raggy bites. Bit turn off, even as all things take. Where they go by the rod? Yeah, no, sit there, take this one! Oh my god! So what's happening, Ron? Alright guys, so Ron just landed his rag and our rod's also gone now. Every love baby through got tacked, so we decided to put the steel on and have some fun. But it's absolutely wild. So far just small rags and this one seems just a little bit bigger so we're taking our time we're going to make sure we get it out because we're being extremely large here. to another episode so we've had a interesting little start here <laughs> we went to be fishing for carbon carry we picked an area that has extremely little water now on the push yeah okay it's got quite a bit of water but from the first throw there's been raggies eating every single bait uh, most of them small 30 30 to 80 kilos bronson's got the nicest one so we've landed i think three or four 
most of the ones put us off, we must have had about 8 bites. But I have now gone over the lip here, so I'm going to show you what's great formation to fish for a bigger fish. So from the side it looks like that. I waded through this little trough in the front, onto the bank at the back, and then I threw into a big gut in the bank, at the back. At the moment it looks open sea, it's not though, it breaks uh, right at the back. But a reggae doesn't mind that. A bronzy is not the biggest favor for it, but he doesn't mind it. So, how this episode's gonna go further? We're gonna see if we can't get a bigger reggae here, a um, 100 kilo plus fish. And in the meanwhile, Brant and them are probably gonna carry on playing their little games there. Just joking, Brant. <laughs> and then tonight, uh, on the low tide, I'm gonna think we're gonna try to look for a club again. But the raggies are just so bestful. I think I had three, three baits over with nylon and they didn't leave me. So I'm rather gonna fish for a better size bag and then switch back to a club later, just before the sun sets. Maybe, um, maybe take a throw for a, a, with some paddle tail. Uh, or lure, see if we can't get a call that way. But stay tuned, sit back, uh, it's gonna be a good one. Cheers! Alright, got an inquiry here. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. Feels like males, because that feels very erratic. You can usually tell quite quickly if it's a male bag. Yeah. This is a nice thing about Eastern Cape. Ah, oh, this is so much better than sitting in isolation at home. <laughs> Come on! Ah, they're in the distance. Ruan's also buckling. They're throwing in a little hole. Look at that. The fish are thick. Crikey. It's a solid fish as if. It must be a reggae, but if it's a reggae, it's a freaking tank of a reggae. Almost into my backing. That doesn't happen. Okay, yeah, it's a big wade and a long throw, but. It's a nice fish this, it's arcing left quite a bit along the drop off. The weirdest bite, I was standing holding the rod and I just felt the like, and then I was waiting for it to pick me up again. Nothing happened for about 50 seconds, maybe a minute. And then the drop off rod would pull me all the way flat to the sinker trip, pull me flat dropped. Okay, maybe I pulled the bait off. So I put her on the stand, I wanted to go make a new bait, and then maybe 10 seconds later I went on again. It was quite erratic, so I thought it was a bag, but now it's very smooth and it's a bit strong for rank. So I don't know, if maybe maybe it was a black red that came and sat on the bait, that's a good that I felt, and then that slow pull away, maybe that was a black red, and it never left the bait. the last five minutes what happened so you lost your fish eh? yes really? yeah oh. uh, it just bit me off because i had a th uh, small bite yeah my hook just popped out i don't know i tried to put the gopro such a way that it, uh, oh, okay. faces towards my rod oh, no, it's not good. but i hope you can see it i don't know it's in a rush it's just... oh, okay. Okay. Now it looked like a reggae, but it's fighting extremely strange. It must be foul. Only, only reasonable explanation. I am pressure on this fish is immense. I just can't get it to move. It's not changing left or right. Same place. <laughs> Going back for round two. I can fix away the pain You can take my breath away Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why did I get this thing? <laughs> Guys, I literally told the one five minutes ago that it's going to be hooked there. Can I start it back up? How do you even hook a fish there? Nice fish, we've already got it at 140. We'll get a measurement, take a quick picture and get it back. Okay. Yo, 193. <laughs> we just heard that our country is going on lockdown, so hopefully you guys will be viewing this <laughs> during the lockdown period. Now do one has a reason to do some edit editing. Yeah. But this is our last fishing session for lockdown, guys. How does that make you feel? Sad. Do you have anything to say? Well, good luck, everyone. France is not going to be able to buy any more tackle. No, it's a problem. It's a real problem. Do you, Ruan? You think it's safe for the Yeah, I think it was going to be good to say. I think I'm going to learn how to play piano now. Such a fun Jokes aside, though, it's pretty hectic very hectic um, hopefully we can trust in our government to help provide for the uh, people in need because there's thousands millions of people are going to be without jobs and some of them live day to day for their salary and for their food at night so it could be a potentially crisis situation or it is already a crisis situation but it could lead to more crisis situations but um, he is addressing the nation now, so we'll see. Maybe Mr. Cyril can think of something good for our community and hopefully people can club in and help where they can. So guys, I, I was planning on videoing you some of those or filming some of those bags. We got a bit repetitive, repetitive and they were quite small. Uh, and the video quality wasn't great, so there's a couple of snippets, but nothing major. What a catch! What a it's a bus! Yeah! Better one. Look at that one! Massive! <laughs> there's so many of these small raggies, guys, it's a joke. It's a joke. Now we are having a nice cappuccino, fire, warm coffee, relaxing, dry clothes, enjoying a Ridiculously awesome out out of nature. Compass is beautiful, it's quiet. One more day till lockdown, guys. It's quite uh, quite so it's a nice way to spend the evening. See you tomorrow.